All right, office hours with structure free <laughs> learning. Uh, all, right, all right, so here in this, we're gonna look at strain. So here, this one given. I'm, uh, I'm given in this problem. Um, let's see what 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 information am I given? I have a um, like a, a rod, a rigid rod, CBD, and a f cable, which is essentially a spring, right? Is and then a force is pulling the force and it stre causes stretching here in AB, right? Okay, and and it the angle right here is 0.3 degrees. So I'm given that that little angle is 0.3 degrees. Is that me? No? Here. Uh, it's actually, here, I'll, I'll, let me draw it here. So here, I'll draw it here. Um, let's see, here's what the schematic looks like. I'll draw it. This angle. Yeah, yeah, that little angle right there. So if I if I draw, let's see, here is the, um, this is the rod, the rigid rod right here. Whoa. Okay. It's the rigid rod there right here and then it's essentially like a pin connection down here mm -hmm. and then there's a spring that is or a cable like this right here and this is also a pin connection and then I have a force applied here which I don't know but that when I apply that force it deforms it I will exaggerate the deformation, but it deforms it to here, okay? It deforms it to here. And and we'll say the deformation and this angle right here, this is that 0.3 degrees. That's that theta. Mm -hmm. And and we'll say the deformation is so small that this point right here, we're, let's label some points. Uh, let's see, we have A, B, C, and D, oops, and D. And, and that deformation is so small, this thing just moves horizontally, and I'll use a red dotted line right here, straight across right there. It moves horizontally. So that this new point, I'll call this B prime, the new position of B prime, it looks like, like that. Oh like that yeah mm -hmm. yeah and now okay and so what I want to find from this thing I want to find is a strain in this link or cable a B I want to find the strain in a B after I apply that load that causes that point three okay mm -hmm. so so it starts with um, so it's, would you agree that it's just normal strain, that it's elongating? Like on there's the, no- On the cable? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because it's like pin, pin, connected. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's in a way, it's like a, a truss element, mm -hmm. right? It's a, it's that two force member, or, which is only a normal force inside. So yes, there's only normal strain, okay? And let's see, so let's look at normal strain. What's the definition of normal strain? Normal strain is the uh, normal force over the area. Well, let's see. We're talking oh, about strain. Yes, 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 yes. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. the the final length minus the initial length over the initial. Length. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Hey, we're all human, right? And here, epsilon, this the strain, normal strain. So what you said was the change in length over the original length, mm -hmm. right? So this yeah. would be the change in length a b over the initial length a b that okay and so and this and then and it's good you said you actually said you know the final length of a b so i'll call that l a b prime right minus the original length of a b like that's what you essentially said the final length minus the original length divided by the original length okay so we just have to find these three or and these two things the, we find the strain. and then we'll find the strain so it's really it's just geometry now Right, it's just pure geometry. It's not really after we understand the mechanics and the moat and, and all that. It's just geometry. So, um, 
at least LAB0 is kind of a, a straightforward one. The initial length, so here, these dimensions, this was, what is this, 400? Is that 400? 400 millimeters. And this... C to B is 300. 300 millimeters. So that means, you know, a, the original length of AB was... It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the original length of AB was... What's this original length right here? 500. 500, right? 500 millimeters. Yeah, it's just a three, four, five triangle. So, boom. So that's 500. So I, I know, boom. I know these two. I know that. Now I just need to find the final length. And that final length is this blue line right here. Okay. There are um, there are many ways to do it. Uh, here, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this. I need this out. I need some space here. I wonder if I can zoom in. Oh, snap. <laughs> It zooms, say what? All right. Okay, so we know that angle is 0.3 degrees right here. This is 0.3 degrees, okay? Now, there's a, a couple ways to do this, okay? So depending, like, one way is to use the law of cosines, and that usually gives everyone, like, a heart attack. Like, what? I don't remember that, right? So the other way to visualize this is here, I'll use red, is, um, you know, like, if I, here's this, if I go, if I draw a line straight down right here, and then I draw a line straight across, like this, right? And this is a right mm. angle. Then I have here Another right triangle. a right triangle with the red and the blue, right? Okay. And I just need to find this distance right here, which I'll call X. And if I find that, dis that distance right here, then I'll know this new length at the bottom. Oh, and then the 300 hasn't changed. And the 300 hasn't changed. Oh. And then I just use Pythagorean theorem and get the new AB. Okay. Right? So here, let's just do it real fast. So here, so to find, and because I know, and if I look at, I'll choose green, I'll use green for, or maybe orange. Orange is, I have this triangle, oh, that's right there, and it's, it's, it's 90 right here, right? Mm -hmm. And I know the angle 0.3, so that means X, I could just calculate X, x um, tangent of theta is equal to x, x over a over 300 perfect right over 300 millimeters no theta i know theta so it'd be tangent of 0.3 degrees equals x over 300 millimeters and x equals i don't know we've got to calculate that Yeah, I got 1.57 millimeters too. So 1.57 one if we want it to be like super, okay? So 1.57 one millimeters is X. And so now, by, again, by geometry, because I have that X, I can determine, you know, LAB prime, which is this blue line, I'll call this LAB prime. And that would be LAB prime squared is equal to uh, 401.571 millimeters squared plus 300 millimeters squared and then and then if I solve for LAB prime what do I get 501.258 501.258 millimeters right there and now I just plug and chug into my strain Okay. Yeah, and it's epsilon. Not it's not too bad, right? It's just, it's that initial figuring out mm -hmm. the geometry, right? That yeah. can always be a challenge. So here, it's like, uh, this would be fine. And even this, maybe I'm doing, you know, this 501.258 minus 500 is just going to give me 1.258, right? 500 mm -hmm. divided by the original length of 500. So this is just 1.258 divided by 500. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, what is that? Uh, 0.002516. 002516. 0, 0, you know, millimeter per millimeter 
millimeter or whatever units you want to use. And this would be my normal strain in AB. And that's oh, it. That's it. Hmm. That's it. This one's not bad, right? Yeah. 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 This this is, you know, this one I asked you to try to do get, in class. I'm going to get a lot harder or something? No, for these, <laughs> you know, it's really just this chapter, this one, it's not. The strain ones, they're, they, you know, what the way it gets harder is if we combine, like, other concepts. So, oh. you know, instead of just P, like, uh, what would make it more challenging or interesting would be if I gave you a load, if the load P were given, and I told you this uh, AB was made with um, steel, and I gave you a, a modulus of elasticity. So now, what you have to, you would have to do is like, I give you like, let's say this load is, I don't know, like 150 kilonewtons, right? And this is steel, so you have a modulus. So you calculate the stress in it, and then using Hooke's law, you use calculate the strain, and then you know what the final length is, and then I ask you how far did point D move to the right? You know, oh, due okay. to the load, okay. right? Yeah, that would be that would be combining all these concepts together: normal stress, Hooke's law, right? Mm -hmm. All and strain definitions to figure out, you know, what's the you know the geometry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it works like many ways. Yeah, okay. and then I could like oh an the other way would be like. You know, like I could have, if I had like, let's say for instance, uh, you, I gave you this angle. So like we have some, a sensor that measures the angle, right? And then by back calculating, you know, the strain here. And I tell you, this is made of steel, right? Mm -hmm. And so now, you know, the stress. And then if you multiply that by the area, you get the normal force mm -hmm. in the rod. And then you can use that to tell me what the load P was that was applied. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, it's like I would need a rotation sensor here. Would that possibly be an exam question? That would be a, 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 a definitely worthy and challenging uh, exam type problem. But it's also a very um, practical mm -hmm. problem because right. like, and, and really we might put like a strain gauge on AB, mm -hmm. right? And we know that it's experiencing, like if the deformations are small enough or it's gonna be just in normal strain, and if it's pin, we make that assumption, then we can use that like a scale. And if we know the material that we built out of, we can always calculate that load P, mm. you know, that was applied to it. Just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so it's like kind of going back and forth, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. So hopefully that was useful. Ayo. <laughs>